You know, planning a wedding has got to be <laughs> one of the most uh, intense and stressful periods in a couple's life. It's really huh? fraught with so many like landmines because right. you've got the the family of the bride who feels like you know this is the big party they're throwing for all their friends. Right. The family of the groom who feels the pressure because it's the big party they're right. throwing for all their friends. And then you're the bride. This is about you and the groom. This is your moment. In fact. Um, what one of the things I loved was someone who told me, "Hey, when you're the bride, you're queen for the day, and right. you need that freedom because this really is your ceremony." Yeah, it's not your mother-in-law's no. or mother-in-law to be. It's not her day. It's your day, and uh, in fact, she's probably not even footing the bill. I'm guessing, at least not typically. And so, this is one of these situations where you, you've got to kind of say, "You know, some I'm going to get married once, and I would like the day to be the way I'd like it to be." It's not about this disease to please everybody else. But the rehearsal dinner is really kind of her jurisdiction. Let her shine, and yeah. let her shine baby. And, <laughs> you know, it's okay to invite her opinions. It's okay to include her. And it's okay to explain to her, you know, that you know you guys have different uh, ways of looking at it and that you want to invite her to emotionally be present even if your taste is a little different and your desires are right. a little different. Exactly.